people call me an artist and I've been working as an architectural designer for a couple of years now. Apparently, I was four years old. My dad, he was making me draw with a couple of crayons and he had to leave the room for a couple of minutes. And, and he was guiding my hand and we drew half a face. It really got me into, okay, no, I have to really start improving my skill set. I work with watercolor, pencils, and also acrylic. And uh, I developed, I, I leaned towards realism in uh, around 2017, 16, 15, and then I moved on to hyper-realism, and uh, yeah, it's it's been something. You zoom out, it's an entirely different artwork. When you zoom in, it's something that's entirely different, something new. And let's say a uh, galaxy, when you zoom out, you see these uh, array of stars, right? These dots, particles, and it's it's a, a new canvas. It's a new artwork. So. That's what really um, fascinated me. I did have a lot of references, a lot of inspiration for realism, but not for hyper-realism in particular. I do plan to uh, read and write a lot and really explore different concepts and try to crystallize these concepts into something really solid. And um, as for, let's say, the progress that I've had so far, because I was a kid, so, um, but then something struck. I, I had an exhibition, someone came to me and said, me take an uncle. So, um, and it really uh, stuck with me. Actually, to can me right? So, um, I started, okay, no, I have to draw my people. There are, let's say, John O'Dry, he draws his people, he draws Caucasians. There are American, black Americans drawing black Americans, Italian artists drawing Italian artists, Italians, right? So, who's drawing Bengalis? Um, in this style, in particular, no one. So, I decided, no, I have to do I have to do this for, for my people, for my culture, my roots. I really wanted my art to be true to myself. If you look at the series, you're going to see a lot of branches at play. Branches are something that I really am um, drawn towards. I try to draw it when I work with acrylic, when I work with watercolor. These paintings are made with acrylic paint. Um, so I even have a painting from 2014 uh, where I just drew an abstract painting with branches. It's something that I really resonate with. Um, it's, it's all interconnected and everything is connected with everything else. And it's, it's a concept that we forget in modern society. If you look at the stars, if you look at your blood cap capillaries, everything is so uh, integral with, everyone is connected with everyone else. So that's a concept that, I really, that really resonates with me. It was more about the story of struggle. It was being bound to your own limitations. And if we move on to specifics, uh, defiance, it's the same story, dark, dusky, dirty talks about. It tries to talk about the colorism, the issue of colorism in the subcontinent that uh, prevails in every uh, layer of society, in our society. Freud's, it tries to explore Freud's psycho analytic theory and um, it, it, the process of catharsis, that, that sense of release, like you're struggling for that ultimate release. That's, that's the sort of moment that um, I tried to, I wanted to capture.
So if you look at Vermilion Horizons, um, in the first glance you'll see a woman of our subcontinent and in, in her aged grace and she's looking out into the horizon, right? So, and I really wanted to capture that, that moment of reflection. Um, she's thinking about her life, her trajectory so far, her family perhaps, or maybe her work maybe her passion, maybe poetry, who knows. I really wanted to highlight the texture of her skin, the wrinkles, and it was fascinating to draw it all, but um, in our society right now, people are obsessed with trying to hide wrinkles, trying to um, just try to stop really hard, like our the natural aging process. And I really wanted to uh, capture the beauty of it, what it could be, what nature gives us essentially in its raw form. That's essentially what I wanted to represent. I wanted to capture the, the Black Death. It's like uh, 700 or 800 years back, but it's still so raw in our uh, memory. And right now, with the current pandemic, it, it feels like we are living history all over again. So that, that contrast, that sharp contrast, I wanted to create that with the mask and the more contemporary costume of, of the subject. Art will be something that is for the soul. It's my passion, it's something that I love.